Greetings, everyone. Welcome to lecture number 51. This is chemistry part nine. Okay. Uh, in this lecture, we're just going to go over uh, what we talked about in moles and do some examples. Okay. So a couple more examples. So you'll see it's really not that bad. So more on moles or a moron with moles. Okay. Find the mass of 0.6 moles of boron carbonate, boron carbonate. Okay. So first we need to get the formula. So where's boron? Boron's in group 3A. So we know boron has an oxidation number of plus three, it wants to give up three electrons. The carbonate polyatomic ion is CO3, okay? But it has a charge of minus two. So this needs two electrons. Boron wants to give three electrons. Remember how we match this? We take two borons. So two times three gives six electrons. And the carbonate needs two electrons, so we take three carbonate ions. Take six electrons, okay? So that's the molecular formula for boron carbonate. Once we do that, we can get the molecular mass or molecular weight by just using the periodic table and adding up numbers, okay? So what do we have? We need two borons. So boron has a mass of approximately 11. We're rounding off, okay? Two times 11. Now, carbonate. We have three carbons, okay? So we have three, carbon is 12. And then how many oxygens? We have three times three is nine oxygens, each with a mass of 16. So if we add 22 plus 36 plus one, whatever, <laughs> 144, uh, then we find that one mole of boron carbonate is 202 grams. So that's one mole, but I'm asking for the mass of 0.6 moles. So we just multiply by 0.6 moles times 202 grams per mole. The moles go out and we're left with 132 grams. And that's our answer. Fantastic. Okay, let's continue some of the other questions I asked. All right, now in 0.6 moles of barium carbonate, how many uh, uh, boron, I said barium, I think boron carbonate. How many boron atoms? How many carbon atoms? How many oxygen atoms? So remember from the last video how we did this? So boron atoms, we have 0.6 Na, 0.6 moles, times we had two boron atoms. So times two, two times 0.6, 1.2 Na. But remember Na is six times 10 to the 23rd. So when we multiply that, we get 7.2 times 10 to the 23rd. All right. Carbon atoms, once again, 0.6 moles, 0.6 Na. We had three carbon atoms, so three times 0.6, 1.8 Na, and 1.8 times 6 times 10 to the 23rd, and we have 1.08 times 10 to the 24th carbon atoms <clears throat> in 0.6 moles of boron carbonate. Finally, how many oxygen atoms in 0.6 moles of, of boron carbonate? Sorry. 0.6 Na times, we had nine oxygen, three times three was nine, so we multiply that by nine. We have 5.4 Na, remember Na is six times 10 to the 23rd, or 6.02, but we're ignoring this 0.02. Six times 10 to the 23rd times 5.4 is equal to 3.24 times 10 to the 24th, and that's the number of oxygen atoms in 0.6 moles of boron carbonate. Okay? Same type of problem every time. Every time. All right, one more. Let's do one more. Find the mass of 0.2 moles of ammonium sulfite. Sulfite. Ammonium sulfite. So, we have two polyatomic ions. Okay? Ammonium was NH4. Wants to give up one electron. Needs a charge of plus one. Sulfite was SO3 with a charge of minus two. Needs two electrons. So, if Ammonium gives one electron, sulfite needs two electrons. We need two ammoniums for one sulfite, okay? And again, we could take the parentheses away because we just have one, uh, one sulfite. All right, so <clears throat> let's do one mole. So what do we have? We have two nitrogens, eight oxygens. So two nitrogens, nitrogen is 14, eight hydrogens. Hydrogen has a mass, atomic mass of one. Now we have one sulfur. I believe sulfur has 32. And uh, three oxygens. Three times 16 is 48. 
right? Oxygen is three, 16, so we have three of those, we get 48. When I add these up, I get 116 grams. What is 116 grams? It's the mass of one mole of ammonium sulfite, one mole, okay? So let's see. If the mass of one mole is 116 grams, the mass of 0.2 moles, just multiply by 0.2, and we get 23.2 grams. That's our answer. All right, and then we'll play the same game with how many atoms of each element are there. So in 0.2 moles of ammonium sulfite, how many N atoms, how many H atoms, how many S atoms, how many O atoms, okay? Same question, getting redundant, okay? So N atoms, we have 0.2 Na, because we have 0.2 moles, times, remember, we had two nitrogens. So we multiply by 2, we get 0.4 Na, and again, Na is 6 times 10 to the 23rd. We put that in, we get 2.4 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, how many H atoms? Well, again, we have 8, eight H atoms <clears throat> in each molecule. So if we have 0.2 Na, we multiply by 8, we get 1.6 Na. Again, Na is 6 times 10 to the 23rd, Avogadro's number. And so the total number of H atoms is 9.6 times 10 to the 23rd. Or on an exam, it could just be 1.6 Na. I want you to be aware, it could put it in any form. All right, S atoms, there was just one sulfur atom in this molecule. So we have 0.2 Na times one, which is just 0.2 Na, which is 0.2 times six times 10 to the 23rd, which is 1.2 times 10 to the 23rd. And finally, oxygen atoms. Okay, we have three oxygen atoms, so 0.2 Na times three is 0.6 Na. 0.6 Na is 0.6 times six times 10 to the 23rd, and that gives us 3.6 times 10 to the 23rd, okay? So this is pretty much what I'll ask on moles, one of these types of questions. Um, I can ask what's the mass of 0.6 moles, or I can say, all right, uh, 40 grams of, of boron carbonate has is how many moles okay so we can work backwards all right and the same here we could work backwards I could say if I have a hundred grams of ammonium sulfite how many moles is that well you find out the mass of one mole and you divide that into a hundred or divide a hundred into there and that'll tell you how many moles so okay so if I have uh, 500 moles 500 grams of ammonium sulfite, 500 grams. How many moles is that? Well, one mole was 116. So 500 grams is almost five moles, right? Does that make sense? Do you see that? All right, uh, that's about all I wanna say for this stuff now. We'll move on. We'll talk a bit about liquid measure, measurements and concentrations in the next uh, lecture. Okay, take care, see you. Peace.